Let me give this guy a shot. Wow. There's something incredible. This is like a flavor explosion. Wow. Hello and welcome to Aspen Cooking, my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare New York's with a mummy powder, the seasoning that is made from shiitake mushroom that will give our steaks incredible taste. And believe me, you will not be disappointed. This is the steaks that you definitely want to make yourselves. My friends, I always wanted to make this thick cuts of New York. Um, I've tried them several times and each time it just becomes better and better and tastier and tastier. So just you can understand and kind of see in here. So the, these cuts are two and a half inches thick. Now for the seasoning, right now uh, we're going to do our dry brine. Usually I'll just use a salt and that's it. Just salt, nothing else for 24 hours or thereabouts. But today I'm going to do a salt with a little bit of a twist. I'm going to use this umami. Umami powder is made out of shiitake mushrooms. And that is the seasoning that you can use virtually on anything from dry rubs to adding it to the salads. It has a very nice, distinctive, um, salty flavor to it. And I'll have some salt underneath. This is what my mixture will look like. So, liberally apply our dry brining mixture on each side of the steak. And we're going to do this with both sides of our steaks. I'm going to flip these babies. So, this is a dry brine process. I'm really counting on this uh, shiitake powder to make a huge difference. Just dry brining with salt in general delivers incredible results. All right, flip it, make sure all sides are covered properly, just to your liking. We have some leftovers in here. We'll just do this number right here, making sure that we get some seasoning on the sides. I'm not gonna apply any on this fatty side because it will virtually do nothing, but I will apply it right here on this meaty portion of it. Now I've prepared my cooling rack with a drip tray and I'm going to transfer the steaks right onto it. Look how beautiful these guys turned out to be. Wonderful. I'll give them some space and make sure there's some air circulation. My friends, have a look. The shiitake powder already started to make the magic happen. It's melting on the steak as the steak sweats. And that is exactly what we need. I'm going to cover right now with a, a plastic food wrap and I'm going to send it to the fridge for 24 hours. Welcome back to 24 hours later. Let's check on our steak, shall we? Ooh. Look at the babies. Check them out, come closer, have a look. So my forecasting didn't pan out quite as uh, what I thought it would. Um, I was really hoping that oh, mommy uh, would uh, completely disappear and dissolve, but it didn't happen. Um, I don't see any salt, so salt did its job perfectly. So now what we're going to do is uh, trim these bad boys. This is uh, a very large steak for one person. I'm just going to square it off. Get rid of some of this fat on the side, just like so. Right, and now I'm going to cut it in half. So, and that's a, it's a perfectly sized steak. I love working with New York's. They're so simple and easy to work with. It's just incredible. Perfect, same thing I'm going to do here. Boom, cut straight in half, amazing. Now, let me tell you real quick on uh, what we're going to do. We are going to smoke these bad boys for about 20 minutes at 210 degrees. 
And then at that time, I'm going to crank my grill up all the way to probably like 400-ish degrees or thereabouts. And I'm going to give it a proper grilling on each side for a few minutes. These are thick stays, so I'm going to allow probably three, four minutes on each side. And um, the, the reason we're calling this video Red Steaks is because of the color the steaks will receive by the time cooking is over. And uh, just stick around, you guys will see what I'm talking about. And the flavor will be amazing. They'll be just delicious, juicy, and tender. Perfect. The steaks are pre-cut. Let's get smoking, my friends. Let's get these babies on the grill, shall we? Guys, I'm going to allow for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes or thereabouts on the smoker at 210 degrees. About 10 minutes have passed and because this grill takes some time to get to temperature, I'm going to raise and crank the temperature up to 410 now and it will take about 10 minutes to get to that temperature now while we're doing that it's time to check on our steaks and uh, they're getting some color on them a little bit of that uh, smokiness look at all of this now we're grilling steaks are ready. My friends, we're not gonna eat all of them. We have some friends coming over, that's why we prepped all of these and we wanted to share our experience with you. I wanted to share my experience preparing these. And of course, we're going to give you a shot at a first try and you guys will see, you will be the first ones that will see how the steaks look on the inside. Guys, let's cut into our steaks, shall we? Red steaks, I promise, that. I promise you guys. I mean, these are red, you know. I don't know how well the camera, you know, gives you the color, you know, but these guys are red. Look at them, they are. I'm going to cut into this one. How about that? There's the one that is my victim. Ah, oh. yeah, medium rare, perfect. Guys, this is mummy powder. Um, I'm really curious to find out how this steaks uh, taste. And if it's a success, I'm going to leave a link below, you know, to an, uh, a place where you can find these. Uh, I bought these guy on Amazon. So if I like it, um, give it a shot. So the umai powder. I'm really curious to find out right now if the flavor is more pronounced and more enhanced with this. Let me give this guy a shot. Wow. There's something incredible. This is like a flavor explosion. Wow. Salt alone won't do this. I didn't even give any pepper to this. And they taste amazing. They taste incredible. Guys, again, if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll be back with more videos for you. Oh, by the way, right in here, I'm gonna drop the links for more videos by Aspen Cooking. They're all entertaining. They all will help you become a better cook. Just the way I learned, and I want to bring you guys you know, for a journey. 
I bake, I make fish, I make steaks, you know, you name it, I do it. You know, drop a, little, drop a comment, you know, below. Let me know what you would like me to cook next. We'll see you in the next one.